back in Kansas City for a critical conference game for the Hawks. They enter eight and nine, four and five in conference play. However, they have won two of their last three games, and they take on a Truman State team that is suddenly red hot. Seven to nine coming in, four and four in conference, but that doesn't tell the full story. This young roster behind head coach Jeff Horner has suddenly won three in a row coming into this game. And this is a tipping point in both of these teams' seasons in that GLBC chase. It is a bottleneck right now in the middle of the pack. And nights like this could go a long way in separating these teams come March. Trey Shearer off the mark, but an offensive rebound. Xavier Hall will try a three, not there. Miles White, physical, boarding the miss and getting fouled from behind by Kobe Williams. Rockhurst, if you haven't figured it out, and those all whites going left to right. They run out Nico Felici, Miles White, Brian Hawthorne, Tamaris Brown, and Nick Ahrensburg to start the game. And Truman State, Kobe Williams, Trey Shearer, Brennan Lovett, Landon Island, and Xavier Hall. Felici spinning in the paint at his first two. Rockhurst. A heartbreaking loss on Saturday. Want to put that far into the rear view. And a quick start could certainly do that. It was a game where they fell 70-69 to at Maryville. But they led by 11 with 2.42 to go in the game before Maryville closed on a 14-2 run to win it by one. Felici has got four and a chance for five. Just a minute and five seconds into this one. Drew Diener said that Felici has earned his starts recently. And he had no hesitation when I asked him if there were any changes to the lineup planned for tonight. He said, I love the way Nico's been playing. We're going to roll with him. He also touched on that loss Saturday, saying it was maybe his most heartbreaking loss in his Rockhurst career, which is saying a lot for a mid-January conference loss on the road, but that's how it felt like, a complete collapse down the stretch. And games like that can really be a turning point for teams. When you lose a game like that, I mean, you can take it on the chin and not be able to recover or you can learn from it and bounce back and Miles White travels and gives it right back to Truman State so this is a critical stretch coming up for both these teams certainly but this one feels real important for Drew Diener coming off of that game Saturday Kobe Williams gives it up, and Landon Island has got Truman on the board. It's a Truman State team that loves to get up and down the floor. Brian Hawthorne, the blow by. The Bulldogs are one of the best teams in the conference at shooting the three ball. As a team, just shy of 40%. Here's one from Island. Not only do they like to shoot the three, not only are they really good at it, but they've got some real marksmen on this team. Three players shoot 45% or better from beyond the arc. Miles White off the mark. Miles White's been really good over a three-game stretch as well. He's hit 12 of his last 17 threes, including that one. Tips Ahrensburg over to grab it. A rare turnover from Truman State. And now Miles White, who's averaging 21 over the last three, gives to Brown. He'll trigger a three. Tamaris Brown rattles it in. He is really, really settled into a green light from beyond the arc. He's averaging nearly 19 in his last nine games. Williams not there. Kobe Williams, their leading scorer, a true freshman as well. 
White gathers back possession. And they'll leave him unguarded. 0 for 2 start from 3 for Miles White. And Brian Hawthorne a little tug at midcourt against Xavier Hall. He brought his own cheering section as he heads out for the first time tonight. A sophomore from nearby Bishop Miege High School. Won some state championships for the Stags behind head coach Rick Zeke in his time with Bishop Miege. But a local product that his family and friends didn't have to make a long drive to come see him play tonight at Mason Halpin. Skip pass, Aaronsburg, book it. Rockhurst also loves to shoot the three in a backcourt violation as Island was still in the backcourt when he caught that pass. And that takes us to the under 16. Rockhurst, a couple of threes in the early going. They lead by six. Really good crowd here in Kansas City. Students back on campus. That certainly helps. Because the last few games haven't had students. And they've seen near empty gyms a couple of times. But a much better crowd. Much more into it on a Thursday night against Truman State. White rotates Brown. Deep three. White the offensive board. New life to this possession. Rockhurst has knocked down five of their first eight shots. And Jake Auer has entered the game. Brown kicks and a block call. That Truman State contingent to all right didn't appreciate it. But it stays with the Hawks. Samaris Brown. Aaronsburg, a tough drive. He got it stripped. And that probably should have gone Truman State's way. It looks, at least from our vantage point, like that got stripped and then ricocheted off the knee of Nick Aaronsburg, but I don't think a ref had a good look at it. Inside 10 on this shot clock. Brown attacking through contact to Maris Brown. What a physical finish. As he hits the deck and gets right back up. And an early eight-point Rockhurst advantage. Talton gets bumped by Jake Howard. Last time we were on the air, Rockhurst, remember, was running away from Lewis, 94-72, and Jake Hour went ballistic. He hit, what was it, six threes in the second half. And he dumped 25 on the Flyers in a game where the Hawks obviously separated themselves in that second half. And they'd love to get Jake Auer going tonight. Matt Hefner with a good move in the post. You'll notice this Truman State team does not have a ton of size. And... Just from a size perspective, Rockers matches up really well, which you haven't been able to say that a ton this year. Brown stepping into a long two, but an offensive rebound. Jake Auer connects. Three, four, Jake Auer. And that was triggered by the offensive rebound from Makai Loggins. And now a jump ball. And it goes back over to the Hawks. How about Makai Loggins logging early minutes tonight? Loggins is only averaging four minutes a game. He's only appeared in 12 games coming into tonight. Most of that action in mop-up duty. But that offensive rebound on the last possession kept it alive, and they ended up 
getting three points out of it. Aaronsburg. Shot clock inside 10. Loggins. Baseline dish. Aaronsburg stepping through and finishing with a right. And now Truman State trying to snap a skid. This won't help. Hefner had to chase it back to midcourt. Kobe Williams in the corner stops the bleeding. And Jeff Horner takes a timeout. 13.33 to go in this first half. A 30-second. We'll keep you right here. But Rockhurst firing on all cylinders. They look good, and they've made Truman State a little bit uncomfortable taking them out of their game as a Bulldogs team that has protected the ball really well over this three-game win streak. On the season, they are pretty good with an assist-to-turnover ratio. Only turning it over about 11 times and dishing out 16 assists, which is already a good number, but over the last three, it is exactly a 2 to 1 ratio. And I had no idea. And Drew Deer actually pointed that out to me in our phone call this week. 50 assists to 25 turnovers in this three game winning streak. So it's been predicated on, sure, great shooting, good defense, but most importantly, protecting the basketball. But that has not been the case early on. Rockers forcing some early turnovers. And Felici can't knock it down, but Loggins has another offensive board. Aaronsburg kicks. Felici open three. Felici knocks down one. And it's an 11-point Rockers lead. They have been shot out of a cannon to start this one. Hall, a three on the other end, around it off. It is stripped by Kobe Williams. Hall trying to push tempo, can't roll it in. Not the start that Jeff Horner envisions. A team who's won three in a row, but you wouldn't be able to tell by the way this game has started. Tamaris Brown draws the personal. Hawthorne White and Ron Thachi over to the scorer's table. They'll check in. And Thachi was a guy that Drew Diener had mentioned has really played a lot better since the start of the new year. And we've also seen that reflected in his playing time. A couple of games back in the start of the season, back in 2023, back in November and December, where Thachu was barely touching the floor. Here he fires one from straight away, can't connect. But an offensive rebound, new life again to a possession. Good backdoor, Hawthorne reverse. Good find by Jake Howard. And the Hawks are moving really well off the ball to start this game. And it's reflected in that score right now. Hall from the mid-range. Hawks doing everything right right now. Felici, his second. Everything coming up, Rockhurst, in the first eight minutes. Island got it taken away by Hour. Another turnover from Truman State. Very uncharacteristic for Jeff Horner's team. Baseline jumper from Hawthorne. This could be one of those nights for Rockhurst. 
thought she nearly poked it free. But he's whistled for the reach-in foul, and that rolls us to the under 12, almost halfway through this first half. And Rockhurst is dropping a bomb on Truman State early on, up 18. 18. 